Pro tip, do not get caught snatching this out of your wife's kitchen. Buy your own. Hello friends, welcome to the video. A while back I did one on print and cut. It's for cutting longer pieces than what your laser will allow normally. And you've got to pass the wood underneath and it's kind of complicated, takes some practice, not very beginner friendly. And so I wanted to do something that would actually be a little more beginner friendly. So I'm working on this right here. First thing, here's the theory behind what I'm doing. This right here is an example a uh, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away where I worked construction. If we had to piece together a couple of boards to make something uh, longer than the material we had, this is how we would splice it. And then you would just squeeze the two together, wood glue, screws, put a little scab over it, make sure everything was covered, more wood glue and screws, and you got a really strong joint. We're going to do a simplified version of that for an RC airplane. Let's say, for example, uh, you don't have 36 inches of working space. We're, we're going to do 12 inches on this. So the first thing I'd want to do is I'd take me out a, a rectangle, and I'm going to make it 6 inches wide, 12 inches long, assuming I'm working with 6 inch wide wood, and I've got 12 inches of cutting area. And so 3 twelves would be 36. So let's go ahead, Control D to duplicate, and I'm going to run this down here, squeeze in here, and just kind of pop it right into place. And let's do that again. Control D to duplicate that one. Let's pull that in here. Don't worry about going out of the space right there. It's not a problem. Put that in there. Okay, let's let's do our first little piece right there. Now we've got to kind of keep in mind this is all the extra space we've got. We're going to have to do two of these pieces on here and divide this into three pieces but we can't extend that tail piece any further than that right there so if you need to measure measure i'm just gonna kind of guess at it so i'm going to first unselect all of that stuff and then select my drawing tool and i'm going to use the color green zoom into here where i can see really good I want to go from this point up a decent ways. Try to hit middle. Like I say, you can measure all this stuff, or you can just kind of draw it out. Come right back to that point so that you've got your piece in there. Now go back to your selection arrow. Select that piece, and Control D duplicates it. Now on your duplicated, now the duplicated part is selected at this point, not the original, so I'm going to change that to black. So now I have a green one and a black one right in that spot. All right, next step, we got to cut this first piece. So select your entire piece. We're not worried about these being selected. They don't need to be cut out. Hit your entire piece. You, when you go to start, make sure this entire thing is grouped together, your little circle and all of that. So you select everything and make sure it's grouped before you put it in here. All right, then you select the entire thing, hold your control button down, and select your first rectangle. Hit Alt-Shift-C. That just cut this part away from everything else okay so select off to the side now we want to go in here to our little v shapes which i kind of kind of crooked but it won't matter and i hit select and look up here it selected the black one which is fine doesn't matter i'm going to hold my control button and select the other part It was cut from, and I'm going to slide this entire thing down to where it will fit inside of there. Okay. 
Uh, now at this point, if you want, you can, while that's all selected, you can group that part so that your little arrow stays permanently in place. And now your green one is here in this place. Select it, hold your control button, select the other part, group all of that together, and then you can just hit the black and turn that all black because later on when we go to cut, we'll be cutting with the black color. All right, now we repeat the process here. Now, if you want to, shouldn't have to, but if you want to, take your line tool. Go from there to there, and then go back to your select tool and pull that line up here, and that tells you how far you can go. Now, we don't need to go nearly that far, but we don't want to use all of this space because we've got to be able to drop this down. Okay, I'm going to just, for the heck of it, change that to red. Go back, drawing tool. I'm going to select the color green. I'm going to repeat the previous process here to, yeah, up here somewhere. And back to that edge. Okay, left click to stop drawing the line. Go back to your arrow selector. And I'm just going to delete that. I don't need it no more. And I'm going to select that green control D to duplicate and turn my duplicate black. Okay. Off to the side. Now come back in here. When you select this, it should take the whole thing. Hold your control button. Select your second box. And see how it goes across right there. We're going to split that. Alt, Shift, C. Now we've cut our second cut. But our little V pieces aren't in the cut. So while this is selected, hold Control. That'll select just one of those. It really doesn't matter which color. And pull that in to the next 12 inch space. While it's all selected, I'm going to group that, deselect that, and you can see in here the green is left, so we can select that, we can change it black, hold your control button, and select the other part, group that together. And basically, we're done. We can now move these off of here and put them up here one at a time and be able to cut them out in 12 inch increments, just like that. And then just like this, slide them together on a flat surface, glue the edges in there until you get one full piece. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, happy flying, everybody.